Okay, so during this kangaroo court session, Sylvia admitted to attacking me, started to go off on her delusional rants, and both um, attorneys, both the DA and my public pretender, corralled her and got her to stop talking her delusional stuff rather than let her go off on her tangents and, and show the judge how, how insane she was and, and shouldn't even be testifying. So... She said that basically, um, if I can get her delusional ramblings uh, deciphered, that because I broke up with her, that was grounds for her to um, punch me in the stomach, hit me in the head, grab me by my hair, tackle me to the ground, get on top of me, on my chest so I couldn't get her off of me, and, and beat the ever-loving, or choke the ever-loving crap out of me. She didn't admit to coming at me with a knife, and she tried to say that I came at her with a machete, which is complete bullshit, because I do have a machete, but you know what? If I came at her with a machete, there would be blood on it, there would be skin materials and whatnot, and it would have been presented at trial. My, my machete was not apprehended by the police it was apprehended by Joseph Fenton when Joseph Fenton broke into my place the second time Joseph Fenton stole my machete my BB gun I had a tire checker a bunch of other stuff you know even toothbrushes and, and toothpaste he stole because he's just such a a, a meth addict uh, thieving uh, piece of shit masquerading as a friend that he'd, he'd steal anything but anyways the bottom line is is she said I came at with a, her with a machete, and that was total bullshit. She made up all these other delusional things, and then they let her go. And then they put me on the stand, and I said exactly what happened. And even though she was choking the life out of me, even though she came at me with a knife, and even though this, that, and the other thing, and, it, and an accident ensued when she, she fell off and hit her head uh, off the bus. When she fell off, she hit her head again, and, and that's when she really got hurt. But then she was on meth and came, jumped back up and was running around looking for the knife again. So that's why I took off. I ran from her. And she, even though she had enough time to hide the knife that they're saying they never found, which I have up on video up on YouTube, I was convicted of domestic battery. Okay? I mean, ridiculous when self-defense ends up domestic battery um, because they know that if you don't get convicted, then you can sue for all these things. And they knew I was smart enough where... I wasn't going to let it let it fly what they did to me while I was in jail before, during, and after. So now I've had threats against me, me uh, from an, an officer. I had threats, uh, in a sense, against me from a public defender uh, that had tried to have me arrested uh, in the courthouse by a bailiff, making up some story that even the bailiff thought was, was weird. And um, I've just gone through total health over this. She's now being mentally evaluated, finally. Now, I already had her mental health records before because I was her, her advocate for disability. I had full uh, authority to make a website with her medical records on it and um, print her medical records out as I, as I needed to or deem fit. So... Her medical records are going to become a, a, or are already public record. Her past assaults on people are, are a matter of public record. She assaulted somebody a few years back in a, in a parking lot here in town in Pahrump. And it was assault and it was battery. And when the judge asked her why she did it, and it was Brisbell that was on the bench for this one. Isn't that a coincidence that she didn't seem to remember that, wait, Sylvia, you've attacked people before, and now you're doing it again and trying to justify it. Anyways, when they asked her why she did it, she said God told her to do it. God told her to attack this woman in the parking lot. Do -do 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 -do. Welcome to the Nightlight Zone, folks. Anyways, I didn't know how dangerous this woman was. I knew she was mentally ill. I tried to get her help. I minor in psychology. I figured, you know, if I could get her into therapy get her disability and get her on the right medications she had a chance of having a better life 
And that's all I tried to do, and look what it's gotten me.